What's going on, y'all? So today is January 23rd, maybe, I think. And I just took an L on the Telfar website. Big L. Like, I was trying to get me a Telfar wallet for my birthday. That's how my day has started. But I'm going to a studio because I'm doing a photo shoot Friday this week. And I'm taking y'all today to preview the studio. And then I'm also going to be running small errands too. And it's really cold outside. Like, I should put on a coat. But, you know... You gotta commit to the fit, and this is what I have on. We're just gonna let it rock, little ooze. Y'all really wanna know something crazy? I swore that I would never get on YouTube looking like this, but because I swore to myself that I was gonna be consistent with content this year, I guess I have to get on here and give y'all how I really be looking majority of the time. Because baby haircuts are expensive. That's one thing I need to learn how to do too. Cut my own hair because these prices are getting out of hand. Since I do have a photo shoot coming up, my diet is toast and water. That's all I eat for breakfast. I'm kidding. I just didn't have enough time to fully make breakfast because I was running late. Not really on a specific diet. That's not a model diet. I, no. <laughs> I'm not starving myself, y'all. I promise I'm not. Stop playing with a riot. We go like Winnie and Bobby that nigga I could tell you like I'm a Betty. I'm used to spotlight. The GPS talked too much. I gotta turn her off because, like, baby. 25 you. mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. She's still Please talking. Please watch your speed. Shut up. My hobby, I be going dumb and I'm feeling euphoric. You crazy? You stupid? If she a baddie, I tell her get with me. I'ma get rich and that's worse than my mother. Facts. Big ice bites, big ices. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm slow or if I'm a little incompetent, but I don't remember numbers and I needed the number that I used to get in the door to get on the elevator. Yeah, I forgot it. So walking up the steps. I'm doing all this just to get one item. They still sell Lunchables? Mm. I thought, you know, when people started eating healthier, they stopped making them. Guess not. And they don't even have the dressing that I'm looking for. Let me just buy some guacamole. Whatevs. It's like certain stores have what I want. And normally Target be having everything that I want. Target really be the bougie vibe that I be going for and they don't have what I want, and it's pissing me off. They don't have the Panera salad dressing. So now I gotta go to another supermarket, or maybe go to Panera. I always wonder if Panera actually sold the salad dressing in stores. They have the sun chips that I normally get, but they're not on sale. And now I know how my mama felt back in the day when we used to pick up stuff when it wasn't on sale. So, just not gonna grab those. Y'all, they said these prices for these eggs are, are getting outrageous. So, they decided to take it upon themselves and I don't blame them because as we all know, these prices for grocery essential needs have gone up. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, we need to blame Biden. I'm not really a political person myself, but you know, I do know a little something, something. In high school, government was very interesting. It was the actual class that challenged me and I actually gave stuff in. However, now, if he was to ask me about the government and stuff like that, I don't know. I just read and some stuff just don't be making sense. For example, like, cause like, oh, Trump was doing all this other stuff. And now Biden's in office, it's like, Biden sucks. But it's like, I should not be saying this out loud in Target. Still to this day, a lot of Republicans in office. So it's really hard for Biden to get anything done because if the House is all Republicans, Biden is a Democrat, they're not gonna side with him. They're gonna give him pushback and make it where he just shuts down and can't get stuff done. That's that, that's what I was gonna say. The sun is finally coming out, thank gosh, cause it's been gloomy the last, what, three days here now i'm about to go into panera and see if i can get the salad dressing this camera quality is so freaking good y'all <laughs> glad i invested so y'all just gained a new subscriber <laughs> come into panera dropping. you know just be nice be friendly to people so if you see this sister what's up sister they don't sell a salad dressing in panera unfortunately and um didn't have the bread that i wanted so now i have to substitute for another bread today's just not going as planned i'm back home don't talk about me and my body. I know there ain't no hair in here, but my do-rag ripped probably like two days ago and I just, even though I was out today, I just haven't had the energy to go to a beauty supply store to actually go pick up another one. What it is? Josie. All right, thank you, JT. 
Right now, I'm about to go to the nail salon and get a pedicure. Like, I don't go to the nail salon every two weeks to get a manicure or get a pedicure. I don't. I go on a neat basis, like birthdays or a graduation or somebody's event. They started being on some appointment-only type stuff, and I'm like, well, I don't come here regularly. And now they implemented that, and I'm just like, I don't like that. Why would you do that? I'm sitting here staring at myself in the mirror, even though I look like the Loch Ness Monster. But um, we rock. Lil Uzi. Yeah, let's go. I wanna be your girlfriend, yeah, yeah. Self says I'm coming for her gig, baby. Y'all, let's count down how many days it is until I get my haircut. How about that? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Two days till I get my haircut. So I'm leaving the nail salon and I pay. She's like, oh, you don't have cash. Be grateful you're getting a tip. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to be rude, but like, everybody always complain about me not tipping. So the one time I finally tip, there's another complaint. So it's just like, you can't win for losing at this point when it comes to tipping, my nigga. Like, either you do or you don't. And if you do, it's going to be some stipulations. So it's just like, oh my God. Like, Y'all might as well add gratuity with them damn prices. But I'm assuming she asked that I not have cash because if you do it on a credit card, everybody gets the tip. So it's not personally going to her. And I kind of felt bad because I was like, dang, sister, but... I didn't have the cash. I'm sorry. So, but now I'm about to head over to Walgreens and deposit. Deposit? I don't know. Whatever you do with this. There's this man that's just like yelling. I, I hope he's okay. <laughs> but um, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, I tried to record her hand, like handing off the thing, but she took it really quickly because they had something going on already in there. They actually gave me a date this time to win to come and get it because last time they was like, oh. It could take up to three weeks. And I was like three weeks and I sat there and really waited for about three weeks for, for my pictures to come. And now they're talking about some, oh, it's going to take a week. So y'all had my pictures the last time for two extra weeks. Mm, shady business. I'm freaking starving. I'm going to just go to Royal Farms and then go home. And that's going to be the it for this today because I'm exhausted. And my stomach was hurting when I woke up today. So I need to go home and relax. Yeah, if I start screaming in here, I'm gonna be wrong. But like, brother, hand me my damn food. This man over here too busy being nosy. Hand me my food. Is that mine? The three tenders and the honey mustard? This is the best way to freaking piss me off. Like, why is your car in front of my house? And then you took two spots at that. You live right here. And there's more than enough parking spots for you to park that damn car. But yet and still, you parked in front of my house and took up two spots. Make it make sense. Please make it make sense to me. I know, I know, I know. I still look terrible. I still look a mess. But that's why I love the Mars. Glorilla. <laughs> I cannot take myself serious, so I hope y'all don't take me serious either. But, um, yeah, right now, I'm about to just go through all the footage that I've recorded so far up until this point and start editing it, and then I'm going to turn on Are You The One. The market is so saturated with love shows nowadays. However, I love Are You The One. Are You The One is a staple for me. I've been watching Are You The One since 2014, and I'm 23 now. I was 15, thinking I was about to be on that show, knowing damn well. I'm not about to be looking for no love. And I'm 23 now, and I'm still not looking for love. But a lot of those people don't even go on the show for love. They go on the show to build a platform. But I digress. That's none of my business. I'm going to watch that while I edit and eat some chips and guac. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm just going to edit all day today. Today is the day, you guys. Today is the day I become human again. I'm not with Metro anymore. I'm with at and The last time I had my haircut was December 29th. It's almost been a month. And you do this to me? This what you do? That's why I told him not this low. Black people do what they want to do. I should have just ran out of there, right? I'm hungry as hell. What do you think I'm feeling? A little chicky? A little Chick-fil-A? I think so, too. All right. Bye. A lot of people don't like Sweetie's music, even her last EP. But I really like it. Like, it, there's one song on here, No Reception. But can you hear me? Like, hey, my vibe too high, I ain't getting no reception. Yeah, your body looking good, but your brain is out of shape. Like, Sweetie might not be the best lyricist, but she makes music that you could just vibe to. You could put her music on in a car and just ride out like, I'm just bopping like, and, and, and. So, as y'all should know already because I've been saying it all freaking vlog, I have a photo shoot. <laughs> my hair's cut. 
So now I'm going to get my eyebrows cleaned up because they are wild, but like I like them to have some type of definition. It looks some type of way. Hello. I'm vlogging. Say hey. Oh my gosh, I look a mess today. This is my friend, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Did you get it? Mm hmm But it was a hair now. So yeah, I just got them cleaned up. They, it's not like I got them arched or anything. It's just like simply not. My hairs aren't all over the place anymore. What I was going to do, I was going to put on an outfit, right? And take some pictures for Instagram. But, bro, it's too, <laughs> too, it's too cold out here for me to be, uh, me to be taking pictures. So. I don't know. Dang, show start over here. Do you want to be in the vlog? If I had a set place to where I could take pictures real quick, I would do it. Back to Mikasa, I go. I know you ski, baby. Run from me, baby. Yes, Keisha. I trust you in your life. Come on, Keisha. Sing, bitch. These creators are always be like, oh, post your content, start making content, do all this other stuff. But what they fail to tell you is that it's exhausting. Like, I'm so freaking tired. That's something to take into accountability if you actually want to start making content. Like, you're going to be tired as hell because I wake up mad early, edit, film, edit, film, edit. But I still do have time to have fun and stuff like that. I'm happy to be making content, like something I'm passionate about, so I don't mind it. They just don't tell you about the tiredness part so right now i'm about to take a little nappy nap and then when i wake up from my nap edit watch tv eat and then uh, prepare for the photo shoot because that's happening tomorrow call me a poser call me broke call me whatever you want to call me but one thing i always learned was that if i'm not going to use it more than once send that hoe back right now i'm about to do a little hack if you know you know okay